Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another episode. Today I wanted to address a frequently asked question that appeared on my video, how to manifest anything. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend that you check it out right here. Now, the question that everyone asked me was how do I heal emotional and physical blockages? Now, this was a tricky one and this is something that has been a learning experience and at this point on my journey to become a greatest version, I'm just doing the very best I can with the knowledge and understanding that I have at the time. So when I know better, I do better. So this is basically what I know of now and this is what's truly worked for me. So I'm gonna read these out. I've got 10 tips for you. They're in no particular order. And I'll give you a couple of um, examples as to when I use this. So maybe it's gonna help um, stimulate you to tackle those areas. I just wanna let you know that wherever you are in your journey, that you are exactly where you need to be. Everything that has happened in your life up to this stage is meant to happen for a reason. Whether it be for, you know, real horrible situations that you have been through or they've been absolutely amazing. Everything is shaping the person that you are today. So I just wanted to put that out there just to let you know that you're doing incredibly well and that by each day, by continuing to make better choices, you are on the journey to become your greatest version. So without further ado, are you ready for my 10 tips? So the first one is to write a letter. That's what I did. Or to get out whatever is in your head onto paper or just out of your body, just a way to express it. I used to write songs um, when I lived back home with my mum because she had a piano and I used to play and sing and I loved that, I love getting that out. What I normally do is write a letter. Well, that's what I've done recently. Um, so I made peace with a old relationship. It taught me a lot of amazing, incredible things and I wouldn't be where I am today without it. So I send it so much love and gratitude. Oh, before I get on, each of these 10 tips, you need to send love and gratitude to everything because you need to be grateful of what the universe has given you. I know that sounds crazy and it's probably hard to digest, but it's true because it teaches you lessons. I love that about the universe. Yeah, so I um, typically write a letter. I actually wrote a letter to my ex because I didn't want to um, contact him. <laughs> um, so I basically wrote the letter and it was a letter that I have been meaning to write for six years. I held on to that for six years. And I thought when I was writing it that I'd be very like um, aggressive and um, just really angry because I had a lot of anger towards this person. And as I'm writing the letter, I'm, I'm just writing it. And as I look down on the piece of paper, because there was like three pieces of paper, um, Everything that I was writing was just like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for speaking to me like I was a piece of shit. Thank you for brainwashing me to believe that I was useless because I am now all about love. I wouldn't have this YouTube channel if I didn't have this terrible experience because most people that you see that are super happy have been through hell. There was something I watched the other day. Oh, I was watching Burlesque with Christina Aguilera and one part in it, Cher said to her, I can't remember her character's name, that Christina doesn't sing that way because she's had it easy, you know? So everyone has a past. So you just, long story short, get out whatever is in your head onto a piece of paper, sing it out. Um, maybe you're a blogger and you need to write it or just something, get out whatever is in your head. And it's kind of like, I don't know, as I was writing the letter, I was bawling my eyes out and I didn't think I would be upset which kind of surprised me. But then at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, we had some really beautiful times, but thank you so much for treating me like that because I wouldn't have the most amazing partner in the whole wide world now. So, okay. So that was number one. Did you get all of that? All right. Number two is I hold a ceremony. So it's kind of like ending a chapter for me and it signals to the universe that I'm done. So what I did is I took the letter that I wrote, I burnt it, and as I was burning it, I wasn't sad anymore because I felt like I had already cleansed myself in the process of writing the letter. 
Even if it's as simple as closing your eyes and visualizing their success and saying, thank you so much universe for bringing me to where I am today. Number three, we're talking about affirmations. Now it's very, very important about the way um, that you're talking to yourself. So I had affirmations, um, I am lovable because I exist. That's one from Louise Elhay that I say all the time. I'm lovable because I'm exist. I exist. Um, I am um, attracting beautiful, harmonious relationships into my life. So basically, write down beautiful things. This is the same that I spoke about and how to manifest anything. It's just being very mindful about your self-talk as well and trying to catch yourself onto that. So affirmations is more about the way you're talking to yourself and just being very, very mindful about that process. Now, the next one, number four, is to change your focus. Sometimes you can be so fixated on this terrible situation that you need a, um, a distraction that's not only a distraction, but something that is inspiring for you. So what I typically do is I go to the app meetup.com and I try and find new events. And I try and immerse myself with people that are on the journey to become the greatest version like me, like entrepreneurs, because I'm all about business. I love it. Um, so yeah, I try and change the focus. Maybe you could take up painting if it's something that you haven't done for ages, or maybe if you're a terrible painter, but it's something that you know you just want to try just for the hell of it. Maybe it's been on your bucket list for ages and this is the right time to do it. For me, my change of focus when I ended my um, this relationship, which was like years and years ago, by the way, um, what I did is I booked a one-way ticket to London and I moved. I know moving doesn't um, necessarily, obviously all your troubles are just gonna come with you no matter where you are in the world. But it was a change of focus of me being submerged and immersed in a different um, culture. And at the time I was a primary school teacher, so I was um, learning a new curriculum, learning new friends, walking through Covent Garden, you know, going to, um, what's that church in Trafalgar Square, St. Martin's Cathedral just going there on a Sunday and just like listening to the choir and the acoustics in the church and it was so beautiful. It's just basically doing something to, you know, get yourself back out there again. Next one, number five is, I've got meditation or a spiritual aspect, um, sending love and light because we need to elevate your frequency. When um, emotional and physical blockages come into play, they don't necessarily, um, they, they basically lower your frequency. That's what I'm trying to say. So meditation is amazing. I've created um, a meditation series on my channel. You can check it out right here. It's so amazing. I love making meditation videos. In particular, I've actually made a chakra series. It's not finished yet. I've done the first three chakras. I'm in the process of recording the fourth one, which is the perfect time to release it because it's all about the heart chakra. Um, so I'll be recording that one for you very, very shortly. So follow the meditation that I've made. They're guided for you. So if you're new to meditation and you're like, oh God, I don't know what to do. I just, you meant to just lay there. Meditation can, can come in different forms. I actually like the physical um, being, like listening to music and I don't know. Some people like to surf, some people like to dance or sing. I just like to sit down and be. <laughs> Anyway, that may not float your boat, but whatever. Um, the next one is makeovers work wonders. I love makeovers. I love getting my hair cut, my nails done, maybe getting some new earrings, or maybe you want to go and get a new dress because sometimes a new dress just changes everything and you're just like, I feel good. Da -na 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 -na. You know, you're just like strutting down the street and trying to be like Harry from Sex in the City. I actually did that one day when I... Um, when I was in New York City, and I was just like, yes, I got a new outfit, and I was just like walking down the street. But anyway, so yeah, whatever you wanna do, just maybe, it's like almost sign signaling to the universe that you're making this physical change. And when you change the physical, it almost, ch it changes the mental. I don't know, that's what I like to do. But I'm a girly girl, so maybe that will look differently for you or for the gentlemen that are watching I don't know what you would do. Maybe comment below, let me know. <laughs> okay, the next one is 
Oh, I love this one. It's to clear out everything that reminds you of this experience. Now, I made a fabulous series called the Komari series, which is all about getting rid of things in your house, which in turn infiltrates into every single area of your life that no longer sparks joy. It's difficult. There's um, an app to follow. Jump over to the Komari series. I explain everything in true detail and it's going to help you. It's actually one of my favorite series that I've made. And I'm going to be making a follow-up video because I actually have like pillows now. I now have a rug. I've got flowers in the house. I have a table and chairs. You can't really see it. I wonder if I can flip you down. Can you see? Oh, that's not good. Look at these fabulous chairs. Oh, welcome to the recording scene. Anyway, so the next one is your self-love practices. I've made a video all about how to feel beautiful and what my self-love practices are. They're basically doing things that make you feel amazing and in alignment. So a self-love practice could actually entail getting a makeover. Self-love practice could be maybe reading just before you go to bed or going to bed earlier, whatever works best for you. Watch the video, I've, I speak about it in length. The next one is to pay particular attention to your chakras or your chakras, whichever you want to call it. Um, that also links into the meditation series. Um, different chakras resonate with different things. If you are having an issue with a the relationship, then you probably need to focus on the heart chakra. There's different foods to eat for that. There's different affirmations to say. Yesterday, I noticed that I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed and different things were happening and I went to target that chakra and I was like, right, I know that for that chakra, I need to be um, out in Mother Nature. So I went to the beach and then I went and got a juice for the, that color of the chakra. Um, I had some time spent in, in meditation and before I know it, the pain had gone. I haven't actually really addressed the physical side, um, but for me, what I notice is it could be as simple as unfriending somebody on Facebook and following them on Instagram. If it's a relationship, um, maybe if you have attachments to their family, um, which is a tough one, and I really didn't like having to deal with that. Um, especially when they're like when you're with somebody I'm talking about the relationship uh, ex-relationship one again especially when you were so close with them and they actually became part of your family but when you end a relationship you're not necessarily ending it with just that person because their family becomes your family so that's a tricky one in friendship groups, that's another tricky one as well because maybe you don't want to have to associate that. But then that's also where the meetup.com app is fabulous to help create a different circle of friends and find people that are basically like, basically like you. You know, your vibe attracts your tribe. Anyways, my love, I hope that these tips, however many there are now because I messed up the numbering, <laughs> I hope they help you. Let me know in the comments section below if there's any further questions that you would like me to address. And I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you that asked me to answer this question. I truly appreciate it. I got so many. I was kind of like started replying to some of you and then I was, and then I was like, oh my God, that person said the same and that one, that one. So I was just like, I'll just make you a video. Anyways, my love, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. I hope this helps you on your journey to release emotional and physical blockages because you know what? The best part about this journey of life that we are doing is that we're con constantly learning and evolving. And when we continue to make better choices, we're already on the journey to become our greatest version. Make sure, my loves, that you subscribe to this channel so you do not miss another episode. Make sure you turn on the notification little bell right here so you can keep up to date with everything. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. Remember, continue to make better choices. I will see you next episode. I love you so much. Goodbye!